When Transparent first streamed on Amazon in 2014, no one had ever seen anything quite like it. How are yeah. your parents? <laughs> the usual, you know, mom's good, dad's a woman. Before Bruce became Caitlin, Mort became Mora. Do you plan on getting breasts? Two, please. Do you plan on undergoing gender reassignment surgery? I'm going to have to get back to you on that one. Jeffrey Tambor says there's still so much for Mora to learn about herself in the just released season two. The historic Stonewall Inn seemed like the perfect place to speak with Tambor. It was the site of the 1969 riots that catalyzed the LGBT rights movement. Last year, Mora came mm -hmm. out mm -hmm. as transgender. Right. So what's left to be done? <laughs> now Mora has to figure out how to do that. Now that I've I, at 70 years old, have made my, my break for, for authenticity and made a break for freedom. Okay. How do I manifest that? Who are my friends? Will I ever be in love? What does that feel like? How do I do that? What's the best and worst part about having your series on Amazon? The worst part, or the, the most uncomfortable part of the new part, is that, so we'll come out on Friday, you know, and our show will go out. And then on Monday, I'll get these emails or tweets. Yes, I do Twitter. They'll say, oh, well, I binged all 10. And that, so where's the next season? It's over. And that's, that's very, uh, very new for me. How did Transparent change Caitlyn Jenner, you think? And how do you think Caitlyn Jenner has changed Transparent? Imagine an arrow. And we were like this arrow being shot into this zeitgeist that was already there and it just blew up. Our timing was ineffable. It was just perfect timing. Do you ever think of Caitlyn Jenner when you're playing Mora? No, but I think Mora would think of Caitlyn Jenner uh -huh. as well as she would think of other, other people. Can a family really be this dysfunctional? <laughs> yes, what a great question. I have so many people who come up and say, that's our Thanksgiving. That's, that's us around the table. You have to understand that the parent has left the building I love you, but I've got to find more of Pfefferman. I think the kids have taken a bit of a hit because they're, they're scared. And people, when they're scared, do really funny things. You were nominated seven times for an Emmy. Yes. You finally got it. Yes. How did that feel? You sound like my mother. The way you said you're nominated seven times. I have a whole different thing about awards and all of that right now because I want people to see the show. This will get people onto Amazon. I mean, there's nothing that replaces, hey, hey, I saw this show the other night. A man came up to me on the airplane, coming like this, and I went, um, it's not gonna be pretty. And he came up to me and he said, thank you. Thank you for introducing me to an area and to a subject I had no idea of. That's the revolution. That's who I'm after.